Hey guys, Strawman here, back with another video. For today's Sunday with Strawman, I have decided to start a new series. As I explained in my previous video, I do not have much access to new straws because of the pandemic. However, I still want to continue to make content, and after reading several comments from my viewers, I have decided to start a new series called Stories with Strawman. In each episode of this series, I will tell a story about one of my previous interactions with straws and how it affected me. So without further ado, let's start the story. I have already done a review on the Epicure paper straw, and I'm sure many of my viewers know exactly how I feel about paper straws. I got this paper straw and many others from my school a couple years ago when they decided to switch to paper straws. At the time when this happened, I was understandably upset, and these straws were offered for free for anyone to use in their drinks. Given that they were free and I was quite angry, I took several straws from the school, as you can see here. 17 straws. Paper, as many of my viewers know, will dissolve in liquid. I believe this is common sense. This was a few years ago, so some of the details are quite hazy, but I remember doing many tests with these paper straws in different kinds of liquids at different temperatures. I tested them in water, juice, tea, milk, soda, smoothies, and other beverages. It might seem silly that someone who has a very strong hatred toward paper straws has so many of them, but this was to prove to myself that they are, in fact, useless. I am very open to new ideas regarding straws. Although I was skeptical with paper straws, I decided to give them a chance. They failed me many times, and that has led to my hatred toward them. Here is one of the paper straws that I tested. This is one of the few that managed to survive, but it is not in good condition. It is quite warped, it is no longer straight. Both ends of the straws have very heavy water damage, which is something that only occurs in paper straws. Water damage does not happen in plastic straws. When looking back on this time a couple years ago, I do not regret taking so many paper straws. I believe all straws deserve a chance. It was only through repeatedly testing these straws that I was able to accurately determine how efficient they really are. As the straw man, I have purchased, used, and tested many straws in my life. Although I strongly prefer plastic straws to paper straws, I do not think any one specific straw is perfect. When I heard that my school was switching to paper straws, I felt a great mix of sadness and anger. It was a very dark time for a straw enthusiast like myself. If any of you can relate to my story, I want you to know that there is always hope. There will always be plastic straws in the world, and there will always be other people who appreciate straws just like I do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and share. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. If you could help me reach that goal, I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you next Sunday with a brand new video. Don't forget to strawscribe.